Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this black and gold luxury themed Shopify website. This website is optimized to look perfect on both mobile and desktop. And in today's video, I'm going to be using the software Shopify and I'm also going to be using Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can set up a free account and you can create all kinds of graphics. So without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Shopify and I'm just going to go here to online store and then I'm going to go to their themes section. I'm just going to scroll down and down here you will see all of their theme templates that they have. So I'm going to be using the original Dawn theme. This is going to be the base for our website. So I'm just going to install this. Once that is done installing, I'm just going to click customize. And this is going to be the base template for our website. So as you can see, when you scroll up, the header is going to pop up. This is called a sticky header. If you don't want the header to pop up like that, right under sticky header, you can just remove this. That way it will not pop up when people are scrolling on your website. You can also select always. That way it stays on your website when people scroll down. And right under desktop logo position, I'm just going to change this to middle center. That way our logo will appear in the center of the website. I'm going to click this arrow right here. And for the announcement bar, I'm just going to remove the announcement bar by clicking this eye icon. But you can leave the announcement bar if you would like. The header is currently set to color scheme 1. So I'm just going to go here to theme settings. I'm going to go to colors. I'm going to click color scheme 1. And then for the background, I'm just going to change this to a black color and then I'm just going to change the text to white. So next I'm going to show you how to add your logo. So I'm first just going to go to logo and right here you can insert your logo and you can also add your favicon image. So I'm just going to click select image and you're going to want to upload a logo in a PNG format with a transparent background. And to scale your logo, if you want it larger or smaller, right here under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. Once you're finished, I'm just going to click save and right here, once you click full screen, you'll be able to view your website in full screen mode. And then when you click the mobile icon, you'll be able to see what it looks like on mobile. So now I'm going to show you how I designed the first image banner. First, right here under image overlay opacity, I'm just going to reduce this to zero. That way our web banner will show up fully opaque. I'm going to click on this heading box and then I'm just going to click remove block. And then right here under desktop content position, I'm just going to set this to bottom right. All right, so I've opened up Canva and I've opened up a web banner template. I'm just going to put the dimension that I'm using on the screen. And this is going to be our web banner template. The first thing I'm going to do is set the background to black. Next, I'm just going to go here to their elements section and I'm going to search for a gold background. And if you don't have a Canva Pro membership, you can just use one of their free images. I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to create a gold bar right at the bottom of the web banner. I'm also going to create two images that are going to be outlined in gold. So under elements, I'm just going to go to their frames and then I'm going to upload one of their square frames. Then I'm just going to select this and I'm going to create a smaller version um, right to the left of it. Once that's finished, when you click upload files, you'll be able to import any pictures you have straight from your computer. And then you can just drag and drop them straight into these grids. Now I'm just going to click on text and then I'm just going to add a text box. I'm going to change this to the font beautifully delicious and then I'm going to put this in bold. I'm going to upload another text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase and then I'm going to apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm going to duplicate this text box and then I'm going to create a larger text right below that. I'm going to duplicate this text as well and then I'm going to create a smaller text right below here. Next, I'm just going to make a white outline for this text box. So I'm just going to go here to elements. I'm going to upload a basic square shape. And then right here for border style, I'm just going to increase the border weight. And I'm going to change the border color to white. For the color, I'm just going to go ahead and select this transparent option. And then I'm going to duplicate this text box. I'm going to change this to the font Glacial Indifference. And then I'm going to click on Effects. And here I'm just going to apply a curve style. Once you're finished, this is going to be our main web banner. I'm going to click Share and then Download. So I'm back here on Shopify and when you click on the image banner, you're just going to click Select Image. And here you'll be able to just upload that web banner straight from your computer. Once you've done that, I'm just going to scroll down and right under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And here is how our website is going to look so far. 
Next, I'm going to show you how I added the collection list. So first, in between these two sections, I'm just going to click Add Section, and I'm going to select Collection List. And really quickly, if you don't know what a collection is on Shopify, it is just a collection of products that you've chosen to put together. That way you can keep your shop organized. Right under number of columns on desktop, I'm going to increase this to four. And then up here, right under heading, you can go ahead and title this section. So I'm going to change this font to a sheriff font. So to do that, I'm just going to go to theme setting and then I'm going to go to typography and then for the main font, and then I'm just going to change this font to sheriff. And then once you click on a collection, you'll be able to click select collection and import whichever product collection you would like to add. And once you're finished, here is how the shop categories section is going to look. Next, I'm going to show you how I created the about us section. So first, I'm just going to add an image banner to this section. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to remove the container on desktop. And then I'm going to remove the container on mobile. I'm going to click on these two button labels and I'm just going to remove the second button label. I'm going to title this first button label contact us and then this is going to be linked to the contact us page. And now you can go ahead and type in your text. And then I'm going to click select image and then you can just upload any image that you would like for this section. To add the fixed background movement, I'm just going to scroll down and right here under image behavior, I'm just going to select fixed background position. And that's how I did the about us section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the shop qualities section. So I'm just going to add a section and I'm going to add multi column. I'm just going to remove this button label. I'm also going to remove the heading text. I'm going to remove the column background and then right here under column alignment, I'm going to select center. Next, you can go ahead and title each of these columns to represent your brand. And I'm just using this text as an example for you guys, but you can insert whatever text you want for the descriptions. Next, I'm going to show you how I created those icon badges. So I'm just going to use the same web banner template that we're already on and I'm just going to click add page. And then I'm going to search for a gold element again and I'm just going to upload a gold circle. I'm going to go here to shapes and I'm going to upload a circular shape. And then I'm going to change the background of this to black. Next, I'm just going to search for the icons that are going to match those columns on Shopify. So here I'm just putting a quality icon. I'm going to duplicate this page. And then I'm going to upload a fast shipping icon. And then I'm going to upload a customer service icon. Next, you can just go ahead and download these images. Here on Shopify, you can just select one of these columns and then you can just match those icons to their designated columns. To minimize the size of the icon, right here under image width, I'm just going to select half width of column. And of course, you can just skip out on any of these steps if there are any of these sections that you don't need in your website. And that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Before we continue, I just wanted to let you guys know that this Shopify template is currently available on my shop. It is a done for you Shopify website template and it includes all of the Canva templates that you see me creating in this video. So you wouldn't have to do anything from scratch. And if you need any help installing the website, there's an instruction guide included. That will be linked in my description box along with a discount code that you guys can use. Next, I'm going to be adding a featured product collection. So first, I'm just going to add a featured collection and you can title this collection however you would like. And then right here under select collection, you can just import whichever collection you would like to feature. And once you're finished, that is how I added the featured collection. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the customer review section. So first, I'm just going to add multi column. And then here, I'm just going to remove this button label. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. And then you can go ahead and title this section. I'm going to change the column alignment to center. I'm going to click on a column and then here, I'm just going to paste the star emojis to represent the stars. And right here in description, you can put your customer's review that they type and then I'd recommend putting their name in bold right below it. So I'm just going to use this text as an example and you can also insert a link straight to their review or straight to the product that they left their review on. Once you're finished, that is how I created the customer feedback section. To add your second image banner, I'm just going to click add section to template and I'm going to insert an image banner. I'm just going to remove the second button label. 
I'm gonna go ahead and change this to color scheme 4 and then I'm gonna go here to color scheme 4 and I'm gonna set the background to black and I'm using color scheme 4 because the solid button background is white. You can go ahead and insert your text and now I'm going to show you how I designed the web banner for this section. So here on Canva, I'm just going to be using the same web banner template that we're already on and I'm just going to click add page. I'm going to insert that same gold background image. And then I'm going to go here to the grids and then I'm just going to insert a picture grid. Once you're finished, you can just go ahead and drag and drop the pictures that you would like to add. Now I'm just going to add a text box. And then I'm going to apply the font Beautifully Delicious. I'm going to duplicate this and apply another text box right down here. Once you're finished, you can just go ahead and download this. And then here on Shopify, you can just go ahead and upload that web banner. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the second image banner. To add the email sign up, I'm just going to click add section and then I'm going to just add an email sign up. For this, I'm going to apply color scheme 5 and here I'm going to select color scheme 5 and then I'm just going to set this to a dark gray background. You can go ahead and edit the text to your liking. And then to add the blog post section, I'm just going to add multi row. And right now there are three rows. I'm just going to remove one of these. You can keep all three if you would like. And of course this part is optional for if you have a blog that you would like to promote. When you click on a row, right here under heading, you can go ahead and insert the title for your blog post. Under text, you can also put a brief summary of the blog post if you would like. And then here under button link, you can paste a link straight to that blog post. And then for the image, you can just upload an image straight from your computer to represent your blog post. And once you're finished, that is how I did the email sign up in the blog post section. To design the Instagram post section, I'm just going to add multi column. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. I'm going to go ahead and title this section. Currently, the button label for this section is solid and I want to put a white outlined button style. So to do that, I'm just going to add a rich text section. I'm going to remove all the text blocks and then I'm going to apply an outline button style to this section. I'm going to go ahead and set this to color scheme 4. I'm also going to reduce the top and bottom padding. I'm going to remove this button label up here. And I'm going to title this button label follow us and this is where you can just go ahead and paste the link straight to your Instagram. Now I'm going to show you how I created those Instagram posts that were outlined in gold. So I'm here on Canva and I've opened up an Instagram post template and what I'm going to do is just upload that same gold background image. I'm going to go here to frames and then I'm just going to upload a square frame. I'm going to duplicate this four times. And then you can just go ahead and upload the Instagram post that you would like to feature and then just drag and drop them onto the image areas. Here on Shopify, you can just click on a column and then click select image. And then you can go ahead and upload those Instagram posts one by one. And then for the heading or the description text, you can just put the caption for that Instagram post. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the Instagram post section. And lastly, I'm going to show you how I did the Let's Connect section. So here I'm just going to add an image banner. I'm going to remove all the text elements and I'm going to remove the button labels as well. Here on Canva, I'm just going to use the same web banner template that we've been using this whole video and I'm just going to click add page. Here under elements, I'm just going to scroll down and under grids, I'm just going to insert a three grid and I'm going to remove the grid spacing. Next, you can go ahead and drag and drop the pictures that you're going to add. I'm going to be inserting that same gold background image and then under shapes, I'm just going to insert a square shape. I'm going to insert two text boxes and these are just going to say let's connect. I'm going to put this in the font authentic and I'm going to put this in the font brown sugar. And here I'm just going to be inserting any contact information and social media handles that I would like to feature. 
All right, so as you can see, I just added a few different social media icons. You can just search these here in the elements section and upload which ones you would like to add. This font right here is Glacial Indifference and this font is Alta. And you can structure this section however you would like based off of how many platforms you're on. I'm gonna go ahead and download this page in a PNG format. And then here on Shopify, I'm just gonna click on this image banner. I'm gonna click select image and then I'm just gonna upload that web banner. Right under banner height, I'm just gonna set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, here is how the finished Let's Connect section is going to look. All right, and here is the finished Shopify website. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And like I mentioned before, this Shopify template is currently available on my shop in case you just want to download my template. It is fully done for you. All you have to do is add your pictures and edit the text. It also includes all of the Canva templates that you've seen me putting together so you wouldn't have to do any of that from scratch. That will be linked in my description box. If you're interested in another Shopify design, check out this video here on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.